Why, hello, and welcome to episode three of the Cat Kim Show. Today we're talking more about photovoltaics. Last time we talked about the electrical characteristics in terms of current and voltage, but this time we're going to go a little bit into how the material actually creates electricity from light. Now this is going to get a little bit into semiconductor physics, but never fear, we're going to do a really simple analogy to make it all a little clearer for you. So what is electricity? Pretty simply, it's the net movement of electrons through a material. And luckily we have our cute, adorable, plushy electron. You can get these at Particle Zoo and other physics particles. Um, this is our electron to help us visualize exactly what's happening. But there's one really important thing that we need to know about electrons, and that is electrons love to party. Not that kind of partying. Where did you even get that? So when an electron is in its lowest state, it tends to be in a valence band. And this is um, analogous to the electrons studying hard for an exam, maybe in the library, sitting in one spot, not, not really moving around all that much, lower energy. But if it gets a lot of energy, it might go to the conduction band, and this is really where the party zone is. This is where the electron has a higher energy, it's moving around, it has the ability to uh, mingle with other electrons, you know, have a good time. It's, the conduction band is for partying. And in a semiconductor, you have a bit of a band gap here. This is, called, so this is a lower energy state, and then it goes to a higher energy state. And you have a band gap and a semiconductor, and this is really what makes a semiconductor really interesting. Other materials like metals have a conduction band and the valence band pretty much messed together, so it's not hard to get from one to the other. It's kind of like living in a frat house, maybe. And an insulator has a really big band gap, so it takes a lot of energy and effort for the electron to go from studying state to a partying state. So maybe that's like a really strict household or something. So how does this electron get the energy to go up into the conduction band? One way that we're particularly interested in with photovoltaics is a uh, photon or a packet of light hits the electron, gives it enough energy to go out and party in the conduction band. And so as long as its energy is higher than this band gap, it's able to jump up into the conduction band and move around a little bit more freely. And you'll notice that there's actually a, a hole in the valence band where the electron was. So this is equivalent to the desk where this electron is studying is now open. So another electron, that's probably more studious than this one, could go and fill this hole. But it is uh, a lack of electron in the valence band. And notice this is not quite yet a current. It's, uh, we have electrons that are free to move, but they're not necessarily moving in a net current. So now we need to get these parting electrons to flow in one direction and create a current. And we can do this by doping a semiconductor with different types of materials. When we n-dope something, we're adding a different material that has extra electrons throughout the material. And then when we p-dope something, we're adding another material that adds holes in the valence band. And on their own, they're pretty happy. The electrons are partying, they're not worried about studying. These people have extra places to study, but they're not too worried about it. They're both electrically neutral. But when you bring them together, the electrons, and there's lots of extra electrons on this side, they realize that they should probably be studying. They see all these extra places to study, and some of them will just give in and they'll jump to the other side and, and start studying. But what happens is because all these electrons move from this side to this side, we have a net negative region here. So this is electrically negative. And because all these electrons left on this side, this is positive. And so when you have a positively charged area and a negatively charged area, we create an electric field going this way. And this is the key to creating the current. So if our electron is hit by a photon in this electric field region and jumps into the conduction band, then because there's an electric field, the electron, which is negatively charged, will move to the right 
and the hole, the desk that it's sitting in, which is positively charged, will move to the left. And if you put contacts on each side of that, you will allow current to flow, and because current is a flow of positive charges, the current will flow this way, but the electrons will just flow this way. So now we have photo-generated electric current. So that was a really quick overview of some advanced semiconductor physics topics. But the basic idea for a quick review, electron hit by a photon jumps into the parting conduction band and because it's in the electric field, the electron goes one way, the uh, valence band hole, which is where it was studying before it decided to go party, goes in another direction and you create an electric current. I'm going to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, where's Valerie? Valerie? Oh no, Valerie! Ah, oh, you shouldn't let her get the wine.